what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The piano tutorial man. Back again with another one, two, three. Classic. Yes, indeedy. You already know who to feed. The nerdy. So, yes, like I said, man, we definitely have a classic from Mariah Carey's very first CD. I have to admit, I never heard the song before, but it's a nice song. It's called Vanishing. And I'd like to give a shout out to Ryan Thomas. Thank you so much for sponsoring this tutorial. And um, we're going to jump right on into it. So, you want to start with an A major chord. And the intro, you kind of, you're going to do three different inversions of A major. You're going to go... All that is, all three of those chords are A major. It's three different inversion. So the first inversion that you're going to play, not first inversion of A major. This is actually technically, this is, I guess in a way you could, um, if you took the left hand away, this is second inversion. All right. So you want to start with the second inversion, <laughs> A on the left hand, your right hand is second inversion. Then you have E, A, C sharp. So you're going to go. Then all you're going to do is you're going to take this E and move it over here. Okay, so you're going to go just like that. Then you're going to take, right? Okay, and now you're going to um, go from here and you're going to move this A over here. Okay, so those are the inversions. So you have, let's just look at just the right hand. See what's happening? Take this E, move it right here. Now take this A and move it right there. Okay, so you have, okay. And the whole time you're just holding the A on your left hand. Then you want to go to E major. Okay. Let's, for the intro, let's play it this way. E on the left hand. B, E, G sharp on the right hand. And then you're going to do the exact same thing with the A major chord. Do the same thing again. And then you're going to, um, but this time when you go to E major, it's going to be E major over F sharp, okay? So now instead of going to the E major with your left hand, just take your left hand, make sure it's on F sharp, okay? So this is E major over F sharp. You got F sharp on the left hand, B, E, G sharp on the right hand, okay? So that, and that's the whole intro. I mean, from there, you can just kind of... If you want, you can play E, D sharp, C sharp, and then you wanna, you'll be on the first verse. Okay, so the intro. Forget about that. You're not gonna play that during the intro. Just scrap that, pretend I didn't play that. All right, so one more time. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the verse of the song. Um, I like to do B at nine. You can do just a regular B major chord. So B on the left hand, B, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. For the rest of this tutorial, every time I say B major, if you want, you can always add the C sharp. I'm just going to call it as B major, but I'm just saying for those of you who knows who know what I'm talking about, you can always just add the C sharp if you want to. Okay, I'll just say B major, but just know every time I say B major, you can make it an add nine if you rather do B, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. All right, so that's for the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so that's your first chord. One, two, three, four five six next chord is f sharp over a sharp so this uh song is in um i think it's six eight time it's in six eight time so you're going to be either six eight or three eight time 
uh, or three, four time, I should say. It's either in three, four, or six, eight. I can't remember, but it, it's divided. It's not four beats per measure. It's three beats per measure. Okay, so your next chord is going to be A sharp on the left hand, A sharp, C sharp, and F sharp on the right hand. All right, and that's going to be, you're going to hold that chord for five counts. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on beat six, you're going to play this chord. This is a D sharp seven over G. G on the left, G, A sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. So, so far you have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like right on the sixth beat, that's when you play this chord, right? Then the next chord will be G sharp minor. You have G sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, D sharp on the right hand. You want to hold that for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then um, you want to hold A major for three beats. You have A on the left hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. One, two, three. Then you're going to play E major. Uh, e on the left hand. G sharp. B. E on the right hand. You're going to hold that for three beats. Two, three. And then you're basically going to play almost everything you just played once again for the verse. Almost every chord you just played. So you're going to go back to the B chord, the B major chord. One, two, three four five six okay but this one is different i'm glad I, I came back instead of doing last time we did f sharp over a sharp this time just do a regular f sharp chord f sharp major okay f sharp on the left hand a sharp c sharp f sharp hold that for five beats one two three four five six and on beat six play that d sharp seven over G. G on the left hand. G, A sharp, C sharp, and D sharp on the right hand. Then you got G sharp minor, G sharp on the left, G sharp B, D sharp on the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to hold that for six beats. Then you want to go to A major, A on the left hand. A, C sharp, E on the right hand to E major, E on the left, G sharp, B, E on the right hand. Then you're going to play A major again, A on the left, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And then you're going to do this passing chord that takes you to the chorus, which is the F sharp over A sharp. We did that earlier. A sharp on the left. A sharp, C sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Then after this, we'll be playing the chorus. So let me stop, back up, and let's play the verse. So the verse, you have this. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm not going to count throughout the rest of the video. I just wanted you to get the idea of the beats. Okay, now for the chorus. The chorus is just simply. Okay. <laughs> So those chords for the chorus will be D sharp seven over G, G on the left, G, A sharp, C sharp, D sharp on the right hand, one, two, three. Then you're gonna go to G sharp minor, G sharp on the left, G sharp, B, D sharp on the right hand. You're gonna hold that for two beats, one, two, and then you're gonna quickly go to, this is B seven over D sharp. D sharp on the left hand, A, B, D sharp, and F sharp on the right hand. Then you're going to come to E major for six beats. One, uh, I'm sorry, E on the left hand, 
G sharp, B, and E on the right hand. So you have U. Six. And then you're going to go back to the D sharp 7 over G. Then you're going to play the G sharp minor again. And then, and then this time you're going to go to A major. Okay. A on the left, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And then you can do, this is E major over F sharp again. Okay, this is how you come out of the chorus only the first time. When you've done the first verse and the first time you did the chorus and you're going into the second chorus, this, this is how you come out of it. By the way, that's F sharp on the left hand, B, E, G sharp on the right hand. That's E over F sharp. Uh, let me pause for a second. Um, if you're interested in the chord sheet, the chord sheet that I create is not sheet music. It's not even the lead sheet. It's literally just all the chords that I'm calling out already typed out, spaced out for you, and divided into measures for you. If you're interesting in interested in purchasing it, just check the description of this video. Okay, so that's how you come out of the chorus the first time. So the chorus the first time is... Da, da, two, three, four, five, six... Then you go back to the verse again and you play everything the same. So when you see sings the second verse, nothing changes. You play the second verse, same way you played the first verse. All right. So you just, all the chords remain the same. B major, F sharp over A sharp. And you can look at the screen to see all the chords. Go to the chorus the same way, same chorus. Two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to finish the chorus. Well, you're not going to finish it, you're going to keep going. Okay. Now, at this point, the chorus continues. So, this is after she sung the second verse, and the chorus has been played exactly the way you played it the first time. It extends, the chorus is extended. So then you'll go right back to D sharp seven over G, G on the left hand, G, A sharp, C sharp, D sharp on the right hand, two, three, G sharp minor. I'm gonna stop spelling out these chords that I spelled out already. You can look on the screen for these. I've spelled them out, you know, so that the video don't be as long as it could be. Okay, and then you wanna go to E major for six beats. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Then you want to go back to D sharp seven over G again to G sharp minor again. Okay. Then you want to go to A major, E major, A major to F sharp over A sharp. Okay. So again, so this is how you play the chorus the second time, okay? This is after the second verse. This is how the chorus is played in full, second time. If you're looking at the chord sheet, this is the second ending. this after the second chorus has been done you're going to go to the bridge so the bridge is going to be you want to hold this for six beats this is um on the chord sheet is listed as c sharp uh minor seven flat five is also known as a c sharp half diminished seven 
even though the screen you looking at the uh the software i'm using it says c sharp diminished seven is actually not fully diminished it's half diminished flat five but anyway c sharp on the left hand b c sharp e g on the right hand one two three four five six then come down to g sharp minor we know this chord by now right g sharp left hand g sharp b d sharp right hand one two three four five six now go back to that c sharp minor seven flat five again but this time you're only going to hold it for three beats one two three then switch over to now this is a truly fully diminished g diminished seven chord so this is not half diminished this is fully diminished g on the left hand g a sharp c sharp e on the right hand and then you're going to come up to g sharp minor g sharp on the left g sharp b d sharp on the right hand you're going to hold that for six beats one two three four five six and then you're going to do a e minor six chord okay e minor six so that's e on the left hand e g c sharp on your right you're going to hold that for six beats one two three four five six now you can do G sharp and you can just add the, a different flavor, make it a minor seven this time. You know, just, just so that you're not, you know, just to add something. You can keep it as a regular G sharp if you want, but I'm gonna do seven. Okay, G sharp on the left hand. G sharp, B, D sharp, and F sharp on the right hand. You're gonna hold that for six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we got the chords that we're used to playing. A major. E major, A major, then we're going to do the E over F sharp, E major over F sharp, that's the F sharp left hand, B, E, G sharp on the right hand. Okay, and that's the end of the bridge. So the whole bridge is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, then after this, she sings a third verse, and guess what? All the chords are the same. You play the verse the same way you played it before, nothing changes. Two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, so after you do that, right, that's the third verse, exactly the same, nothing changes, right? Now we're going to play the chorus to, through the end of the song. So I'm just going to, every chord that's at the end of this song, I've already spelled it out. So I'm just going to show you the chord and move on. I'm not going to spell out every chord because all these chords have been spelled out. But this is the order. This is how you end the song in the same order she ends it on the recording. So you're going to do this. Just look at the screen for the chords and the notes. You're going to hold this E major for six beats. Okay. Then you're going to play D sharp seven over G again to G sharp minor. Then you're going to do A major, E major. Then you're going to basically repeat what you just did, basically. And you're going to do D sharp 7 over G to G sharp minor. You're going to hold this E chord for six beats again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to go 
A major. All these are three beats a piece. E major. A major. F sharp over A sharp. Then you're going to go right back to D sharp 7 over G to G sharp minor. Then you're going to hit this E chord. You want to hold it for six beats. If you want to do something slightly different, you can add this D and go like. You don't have to, but it's just it kind of at the end of the song, they do something that includes this D. So I'm just saying you can kind of. Right. <laughs> then after that, you go back to D sharp seven over G, G sharp minor, and then you do A major, E major, and then the song ends with E minor six. And then you can kind of walk your melody from E down to B. Just go down the scale. So that's E, D sharp, C sharp. And then you end the song on the B, add nine chord or B major chord. B on the left, B, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. Okay, I showed you every chord. Now I'm going to show you how to play it in time, okay? So this is the ending of the song. Now this is after the third verse. This is what you're going to do. you through the entire song so hopefully you enjoyed it and i will definitely catch you on the next one peace